high school, my, my math experience was pretty bad, but I think it's pretty common actually. Uh, a lot of the time I would hear my friends and classmates and even some adults, they would say, why am I ever going to need math? What does solving for X have to do with anything at all? And I, I agreed with them. Uh, the best examples of when you would use math was, you know, counting money or something along those lines. And I didn't like it. I wasn't interested in it. I didn't apply myself. If you, I wish I had my report card to show you. I passed all my math classes in high school with, you know, 70, 70, 70. I just barely skated by. I was definitely a bad math student in high school ever. I wasn't interested in studying or anything like that. I also wasn't interested in making good grades because I knew I wasn't going to go to college, so why would I need to learn any math? I really was a bad student in high school. After high school, I really didn't have any alternative. I wasn't going to college. I didn't want to just get a job around town or something like that. Uh, but my family members were in the Marine Corps. I had a couple of them, uh, specifically my stepdad. And so I felt an attachment to that and I saw a couple other of my classmates getting good deals and joining the military. So it was really, I saw as my only alternative and I joined the Marine Corps. And I, I loved my experience during that. And towards the, towards the end of my enlistment, I started taking online college classes and I actually started doing well because I was actually now applying myself. I was interested in the subjects. I was just taking general electives, philosophy, government, things like that. And I remember my friend that I was taking all these classes with, he asked me one day, well, you know, what are we going to take next? And I, I don't know. He said, well, let's take college algebra. I said, absolutely not, especially not online. You know, with my track record in math, it was not happening. Like I said, in high school, I was really immature, didn't care about my grades at all. And then I went to boot camp for three months. And in those three months, grew up very fast from a boy to a man in three months. It kind of like a smack in the face from reality. And then I started realizing, oh, maybe it is in my best interest that I start trying in academics. Instead of working with my body, I'll work with my mind. I thought that was much preferable. After I got out of the Marine Corps, I went back to my hometown and enrolled in the local community college. And again, I was just taking random classes. I thought maybe I would go to law school because that's what I did in the Marine Corps. And I had to have a science credit and I thought I would take just the easiest blow off science class I could, which was astronomy. And that's the class that changed everything for me because I started seeing how vast the universe was. Um, and I can narrow it down to one quote that our professor told us in that class. And it was from Galileo. He said, the universe is written in the language of math. And that's when I had my epiphany. I realized, oh, not only is math not useless, it is the most useful thing that we have. If you can understand math, you can start to understand the universe itself, all the way from the atomic level to the ordinary cooking recipes. Sure, maybe you won't need to find the discriminant of something in real life. That may be true, but think of it as a critical thinking exercise. Think of math as one giant puzzle. Uh, all science is based on it. Uh, one of the things I was interested in high school and have always been interested in is computers. And it seems stupid to say now, but it says compute right, right in the name. And I, I just never put two and two together. So I got my undergraduate degree at SFA in math and I love my experience there. Uh, the classes at SFA are definitely challenging. There's no doubt about it. But if you just put in the effort, um, time on task is one of my motto. If you just put the time, the, the rewards will come. And if you ever get in a situation where you just have nowhere to go, you're absolutely stuck, 
The professors are always there to help you. They make it very clear you can come see them anytime you want and they'd be happy to help you. Before I came to SFA, I attended UT for a year and I took a differential equations course and there was probably close to 100 students in that class. And at SFA, there are nowhere near that many students in a class. You might have 20 in a single class. That's the biggest I've seen. And that allows you much more one-on-one -on -one time to a professor. So you're actually a person and not just a student in a crowd. I had a misconception about SFA that it wasn't a real university like University of Texas or A&M or something like that. And that maybe the material would be much easier because of that and that is absolutely not the case they will put you through the grinder but because of that once it's all over with you absolutely know that you have learned the material that you own the material one of my favorite professors at SFA is Dr. Miller uh, he's a probability and statistics professor I had him for just probability and I like him because he is so passionate about his subject and I also like how he applies the theoretical material to the real world. He uh, even gave examples of how he's used probability locally to help in trials and things like that. And I just wanted to learn more. Uh, I'm also very interested in teaching at a college level. Uh, I want to be, you know, that astronomy professor that I can give the epiphany to, to people at that level. My favorite part of the math department at SFA is how passionate the professors are about the subjects they teach. And I really think it rubs off on the students, especially me, where I kind of catch that. Definitely, definitely passionate about math. My name is Chance Bradford. I'm 28 years old. I'm a graduate student at Stephen F. Austin State University.